I found it best to follow a routine and have some structure during my day. So I get up around 8.45 or 9 o'clock and I have defined working hours which start at 9.30 a.m. and ends no later than 6.30. It's good to separate work from play. I know I get caught up in work sometimes when I get in my zone. One day I worked till 7 p.m. so I decided that I needed to get back on schedule. One of the first things that I do when I wake up in the morning, of course, after brushing my teeth and washing my face, is to drink a glass of water. Drinking a glass of water first thing in the morning helps rehydrate your body and improves your mental performance. You wanna make sure you have a designated working area that is not your bed because this eliminates distractions. Since we usually go to sleep in our bed, our minds are conditioned to think of sleep or relaxation when we're in bed so it is not wise to do any type of work or to attempt to do any type of work in your bed. I borrowed my parents office chair and two monitors from my job so it's as if I'm actually in the office. So I'll start to turn on my computer and I'll look through my work phone to quickly check emails before I get things started. Another thing that you want to do is to have good lighting. I like to use the natural sunlight that comes through the windows and this works perfectly for me and because of this I don't usually use lights during the day except for today obviously because I am filming. I do not want my electricity bill to increase drastically because of the increased use of lights during the day. The next thing that I do is make myself a really good breakfast. Breakfast is the most important meal of the day, and as its name suggests, breakfast breaks the overnight fasting period. It replenishes your supply of glucose to boost your energy levels and alertness while also providing other essential nutrients required for good health. It's also nice to create a transition into work. You know, when we go to the office on a normal day, we usually have our commute to work that kind of breaks up the being at home and being at work. So I like to listen to music and make my breakfast, which is my transition into work. Because on a normal day, I don't usually wake up in time and I'm rushing to get out the house. So I don't really have a nice breakfast. I just warm up oatmeal. So this is a nice way for me to transition into my day.
My goal is to drink 80 ounces of water each day, so I try to get a glass of water every two hours or so, and I put a lemon in it to make it taste better. Then I take vitamin C and D, fish oil, and a multivitamin. They are good for your heart, boost immunity, and promote healthy hair and skin. There is no dress code in the home office, but I like to dress for success, even when I work from home. It's easy to stay in our pajamas all day because we associate each place and role in our lives with a uniform. Dressing up increases productivity and sets the tone for the day. I found a really good YouTube channel that does daily devotions. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the sun. So, it's the middle of the day. I, Cole, I turned off my heat the other day because I was burning up when I was doing these exercises, which I do on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. But since this is a Thursday, Today is kind of like my rest day, so I will not be participating in any of those extra curricular activities today. So yeah, I've never, I just didn't turn my heat back on and I feel like I don't need to because most of the time I'm okay. So I just bundled up in my DIY blanket. And if you have not seen that video, I will leave a card for that up above and I will leave it in the description box below. Very, very comfy. <laughs> it's very important to take breaks during the day. You can go outside and get some fresh air or just get up and walk around or make a snack. And I like to eat, so you'll see me make a few snacks throughout the day. When we work from home, we're in charge of our own environment, so we have to hold ourselves accountable, but also know when enough is enough. So basically, we're acting like our own boss. Make sure to communicate effectively with your coworkers to let them know where you're at, if you need any help, and if you need extended time to complete a project. So I like to take breaks a lot during the day because it can get tiring working from home or just working period for a long time. So I'll come outside and get some sun. It's very windy out today, but I can enjoy the ray of the sun. You see that right there flying. I mean, my hair is just getting out of the sun. But I usually sit down and it's really chilly, kind of chilly out today, even though the sun is out, so I'm not gonna be out here long. Yeah, I have these little chairs my deck and that is my break I usually, <laughs> I usually stay out here for like maybe 10 15 minutes or until I get tired or cold or whatever and yeah that's my little break
Took another break to go get my mail and I noticed that their tree fell down. The wind has been blowing that bad. At the end of each day, I like to create a new to-do list for the following day. And I cross off the things that I was able to accomplish throughout the day. This really helps me stay productive and stay on track during the work day. Gift with Donald Trump and some money. I don't really care. What you don't understand is while you were running your mouth with him, I was running to the bank, sweetie. And depositing a Trump check. Honey, Donald Trump. Yeah, the one you left with him. about working from home. <laughs> oh, so you was doing a video? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. No, I'm posting it tomorrow, so it's good that you called though. Just... Oh, okay. How was your day? <laughs> it was good. Well, okay. So you did a new video with uh, your bowls, petals, and all like that? Oh, yeah. Okay. I haven't gone anywhere since I went to the Walmart, like, Two, it'll be two weeks on Saturday, but I have to go back um, to get like bread and milk. Okay. Yeah, but still start your, at least just let your car run, even if you ain't going nowhere, just let it run. Yeah. You wearing a pit shirt, I think? Yeah. Let me see your sweater. This is vlogging. I'm vlogging. I'm vlogging. Hell to pit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was just saying it's pretty cool how, how you could put everybody online like that, though. Oh. Uh, uh, yeah, what's for dinner? Pearls for dinner. Curly Pearl! Where are you? What's hey, up, Curly Pearl? Hey, Papa Glenn. How you doing? I'm good, how are you? Hey, Pearl. You sound like you just, okay. you, you out of it, girl. Hey, bro. Brooklyn. Hey, girl. What's up, girl? How you doing? Hey, bro. Oh, Louie just chilling over there. Hey, Louie. Louie, 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 Louie. What's up, Lou? You're like, what? What you talking about? What you talking about, man? What's up, Lou? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny.
So that was my working from home routine slash a day in my life. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you guys are staying safe and staying productive while you're working from home. I know it can get sometimes a little boring or it can just get old. I'm kind of tired of it and I want to go back to the office, but we have to encourage ourselves and encourage others to get through this because we will get through this. This will be over sooner than we think. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.